What's up, guys? Nolan here. We got a ton of good info about what's to come for Grey Zone Warfare, none of which points to timing, really, past Soon TM, but based off of the amount of Soon TM I've seen from the devs, which we've, you know, been pretty experienced with this kind of stuff recently and over, well, over the last several years with games, I'm going to speculate that we start to either see or hear something real in the next two months. So that has just been following these lots of games like this for several years now, and it just seems like the, what would that be? The speed at which, the consistency at which we are getting these soon TMs. It actually is soon. It's not months, it's uh, weeks. We'll see what's going on with that soon, hopefully. If we make it to May and we haven't seen or heard anything real, then I'm gonna start asking questions, but we're not there yet. That bit of information that you just heard in the first minute of this video will take most creators five to eight, maybe 10 or 12, sometimes 20 minutes to tell you because they know that's all that you really want to know, but they need you to stick around so the YouTube algorithm likes them more. If you like that I get straight to the point, then like this video, watch the full thing. It's only gonna be a few minutes and tell me what you think in the comments maybe share with a friend i really do appreciate it we'll also be live after this video is up if you have any questions link on the screen and in the description in this update they explain that it will be an early access game and that our feedback during the early access phase will help shape the game to its final state their goal here being the quote ultimate tactical fps experience and again quote ultimate gaming experience stating that process quote may span several years depending on community feedback end quote so we're a long way off from release but it sounds like we'll get a fix here in the next couple of months if things keep trending this direction. They list off what they plan to have for full release and it's all the keywords of a quote again, <laughs> ultimate tactical FPS experience, but it feeds a little off what is planned for early access. So I'll start with their early access plans. They plan to have three unique player factions, 16 players per faction, up to 48 players total per server. The map will be about the size of Skyrim at 42 square kilometers, ruthless AI behavior, with hundreds reacting to player moves, advanced ballistics simulation along with recoil, advanced medical systems. They've talked about players going into comas before and being able to be revived. Six vendors with 150 quests, eight customizable weapons with over 400 different interchangeable parts, over 80 different items for gear, player progression, squad-based gameplay features, where it says, quote, allowing for up to four members or coordinated gameplay. So that would work with 16 players per PMC faction within the game. I guess it wants you to split up equally to four four person squads. I'm sure there's going to be times when you wanna do more than that. I'm assuming there's gonna be times when you wanna do more than that. It's a bit interesting that they're doing it that way. I wonder if that's like based off of tasks or something. Again, this is speculation here. I, I'm wondering if there's gonna be like tasks that are like, it's, if you only, if you take this task, only four people can benefit from it or something like that. So it actually makes you spread across the map. Not sure what's going on with that specifically, but they do seem to be focused on four person squads, at least off of this. So we'll see what that ends up looking like. And then social features, including friends list, VoIP and messages, stuff like that would absolutely need to be required, especially if you're not filling a server yourself or at least a full faction with 16 people yourself, you're gonna need to be able to coordinate with the other people in your faction. Now that's over the early access version, which may span several years. We don't know what will be working in the first version yet. So we don't know where we start. I assume based off what we've seen so far, it's about half that capacity. That's in some way, shape or form, because I don't think that they would let us play unless, you know, there's a map, there's a way for us to spawn. There's a bit of medical, there's a bit of shooting, there's a bit of AI. That's basically where I'm judging it to be. There's some gameplay there. So a lot of that is going to need to be required for that gameplay. And we've already seen a lot of stuff when it comes to how the AI is at reacting in the trailers, a bit of stuff about the traders, a bit stuff about the quest, bit of stuff about the inventory, bit of stuff about the medical. So I'm assuming it's about half that capacity, but we'll see. At full release, they want the complete map with diverse biomes, a high, uh, a hazardous ground zero area with end game enemies and new storyline. Now for the Tarkov fans, I think they mean ground zero as where the story is at its climax, not its beginning, but we'll see. Advanced AI behaviors for realism, faction based, AKA friendly AI for realism, faction progression and reputations, immersive environmental storytelling, advanced quest system that feeds into the story, seasonal events, resource intensive survival focused crafting, dynamic weather, day night cycle, unique skill system based on achievements and not a grind. That's important. That's actually pretty interesting there. See how that turns out. Customizable base quarters. They're going to call a hooch, enhanced weapon customizations and gear. Then last but not least, a player to player trading system. I wonder if that's going to be faction to faction. If you ask me, that does 
sound like a list of features that would be required for a quote ultimate tactical fps experience so i hope we get some gameplay soon that will be the foundation of that i am absolutely excited for this game i'm going to be covering it along with other games such as beautiful light we the people marathon and more on this channel as i think all of these games of course including tarkov crossover in enough ways to share communities otherwise that's all for today guys i'm live on twitch playing star citizen today we're going to do some ground war stuff there's actually a pretty cool event going on so i wanted to get that in before the arena wipe tomorrow link to my twitch channel is on the screen in the description speaking of the arena wipe check out yesterday's video for the details on that click all the buttons on the screen to check out my other channels for other games right here otherwise thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a nice day see you guys